welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. The letter that we're going to do today is the title of this video. Um, it's only going to be in right-handed format for this because I've been told that if you flip the video camera for the left-handed version, the letters will appear backwards for my left-handed audience. So to not upset anybody, it will not be available in left-handed. Also, in the video description, I link the playlist where all the letters will exist. They will be provided in time, but I also put one video on how to sew the appliques to the project without going through. So if you want to add personalization of a name and not ruin your project, you can do it that way as well. So I will leave that in your hands. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's, let's begin the letter R is in race using a four and a half millimeter size G crochet hook with Karen one pound. Let's begin with a slip knot and chain a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's begin row number one. In row number one, second chain from the hook, turn it to the back hump of the chain because it'll look nicer. And you're just going to single crochet yourself all the way down to the other side. There will be a total count of seven single crochets. If that's important for you to know that, it's also on the pattern. So I'm not being a rocket scientist, I'm just reading. And once you're there, you're going to begin the next part. And so I'm gonna turn already, but you will, it says to wait, but I'm gonna turn anyway because I know what I'm doing. Well, at least I think I do. <laughs> So row number two, I've already turned, so I'm just gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to skip the one you're coming out of. So one, two, three, and go right here, and you're going to single crochet. And you're not quite done yet. So right where you're sitting, once you do that, you are then going to chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna turn our work and we're going to begin and you can see the R starting to take shape. So second chain from the hook, you're just going to start single crocheting and when you get to the one that is attached here at the middle point, you're just gonna slip stitch that one. So just single crochet your chains as you're going back up. And then you're gonna uh, slip stitch the one that is in the join here. And then the remaining that you have here, you are going to single crochet then all these going back up to the top. And that will create the rounded look at the top of your R. And then you're going to slip stitch then into the top of the, the piece there. Okay, there is the letter R right here. So now you wanna leave that tail long so that you can sew it down to your project, which is fine. And then the other one here that is your starting strand, I recommend that you grab a tapestry needle. And you just come down behind the R. So I've got it turned around. And so you just wanna weave it in a total of three times back and forth. And when you go to sew this to the project that also gets stuck in so that'll help that as well. And when you're on the project, you just wanna pin this down and sew it into position in the right shaping of the letter, of course. So if you weave in your ends, you can cut it right down and there is the letter R with your starting 